<clears throat> Alright, well, let's see how this video goes. Yeah, it's, well, not, not pseudo-game related, and I'm not, like I've, I think I've mentioned before, I'm not a big fan of uh, having myself in, on the camera or whatever. I don't mind yabbering away, but uh, uh, it just feels weird, but... Excuse me, I'm just waiting for the mobile phone to um, charge up, because I, I just felt like I wanted to use the DVS adapter. I've got most of the moves done for the Germans. Uh, I maybe a brick wall. I stopped. Uh, I stopped essentially at the Prago River front. Um, oh, there's going to be so much divisional breakdown. I'm already up to like 35 or 40 moves, and um, it's just oh oh. So I, I'm getting to the point now for the Prago River front. I'm trying to figure out what's better. Sh what should I do? Uh, should I um, strip? Uh, a division right down to one strength point, send it across because of its, uh, you know, amazing movement allowance and so on and so forth, and then rebuild it somewhere else. Anyways, um, that's what I'm thinking about. Sorry, I'll, I'll go off camera to sniffle. I don't think you want to watch me blow my hanky, but uh, it doesn't sound like I've got COVID. If I've got what Zoe has, um, she gets gets uh, gets tested all the time due to her work. Um, I had half a COVID test done, and um, they did one nostril, and I essentially said, um, if you expect to get the second nostril done, uh, you're going to be drawing back a stump. Nope, not happening, man. That was extremely uncomfortable, so I just was like, not happening. Um, so anyway, so, so yeah. But we're still, both of us, uh, yeah, it was neat. She sent me a video and was uh, yabbering on about, uh, yabbering on, but she was going on about um, <clears throat> her symptoms, especially, and I was like, oh, yeah. Like, even she's like, yeah, and after I get up, I'm still hacky and more so. But at least uh, my last sleep, I just got up from my first sleep, which is really early, but I think the body doesn't know what it's doing. Um, I had much less coughing during the first, I mean, it was only a couple of hours, but still, I was like, let's stick to that, man, I hope so. Yeah, it's going to be, so when I do my next video, it's going to be, I guess, paint dry stuff, um, lot, but I, I got to document it for myself, too. Um, anyways, let's get a couple of things done, and then I want to talk about the video that I want to talk, or whatever. So this is the snowshoe. I remember all these things are crazy ass designs. I'm, look, I'm not playing around with the camera. I'm not doing it. This is just a yabber on. Um, so this is basically going to be for the, um, well, what the camcorder is, the thing that's filming this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The reason being is, oh shoot, I better check the, the battery. I think it was starting to act pretty funky there. Um, yeah, it, the, the camp, it's, the, it's actually the mount is really heavy. Um, I'm actually going to, like I think I've mentioned before, I'm going to have to put a cross brace in here. It's just to, just to make me feel a bit better. Um, but other than that, yeah. So anyways, let me take a look at the battery before uh, it may have just lost its marbles. Hold on. I'm down to two out of whatever. I think it's the Sony battery, so I'm not too bad. Anyways, what we're going to get down to. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Uh, how do I put this? Give me some good vibes, I'm hoping, uh, or send me some good wishes this way. I'm hoping that uh, I'll be watching Meandering Mike's food, uh, uh, basically be prepared uh, videos, make sure you know what you're doing, um, stuff, videos. I, I may be watching those a bit <clears throat> with a bit more interest. Uh, excuse me, in the next little while due to the fact there's a possibility, and I think there's a fairly good possibility, that um, I may be able to acquire um, property um, on an island, but it's off-grid. It's like a feral chunk of land, um, but a really amazing price. Uh, basically, the only thing that's stopping me right now, uh, the monthly payments are just absurd. Uh, what's stopping me is the down payment. So I'm going to be talking with my finan or my financial advisor. I don't have a financial advisor. Give me a break. I phone, I use the one eight hundred number or whatever on you know. I use the online stuff on my thing, and they said, "Do you want to schedule a?" Give me a break. 
my savings, good God. Um, why do you think? I, obviously, if I had a savings, I'd be able to do the down payment. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, sure, you can put a down payment on what? My line of credit and, wa and watch the interest rate go berserk, you know, next month or something. It's like, oh, by the way, you owe $10 billion. I'm like, no thanks, man. And it, this, the realm of finance and all this other stuff is so alien to me, uh, you have no idea. Uh, but anyways, on a side note, um, so there's a possibility, but there has to be dominant, like it's a set of dominoes that may, you know, fall into place kind of thing. Why is this happening? Or why would I want to do something crazy like that? And there's going to be a lot of people saying, Chris, you're nuts. Because um, I'm about a little over three years to finishing paying off this mortgage on this house. And... Yeah, I'd probably have a half-decent pension, um, even if I took it out right away and I wouldn't be 60 then. Close, but uh, getting there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on. I'm just going to check the, uh, the, can uh, the battery again. I'm a little bit... Uh... No, I guess it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> oh, actually, it would matter because I want, want to talk to you guys. Um, I'll try to talk quick. <coughs> excuse me. Anyways. I'm going to come right out and say it. Um, my work is killing me, man, and it's been killing me for years. Um, I want to be free. Like, I've been saying that word for years. Um, I just want to be free. I'm tired. I am really, really tired. I've had enough. Um, I want to live. Like, live, live. Um, yeah, and trust me. Uh, I know that it's like, Chris, you better, you know, uh, know what you're doing. I know that. It's not like I'm a, it's a, a scene in Castaway or something. It's a, you know, I mean, whatever. But I don't drive a car. I don't do any of that stuff. It's going to be fat bike baby and, a, and you know, proper planning and the whole nine yards. But, you know, when I start thinking, of, you know, you, uh, I think of people like, you know, after the, um, like, you know, uh, industrial revolution and, had, you know, pot loads of money and people to do all their other stuff for them and, they were free to think and free to do stuff and because they were at their optimum to be allowed to do that and all these times I'm thinking about debt and bills and all this stuff that just and I'm saying look it's just everybody has their own whatever right I mean I'm just not what I'm saying is I'm trying to find my spot and anyways it's the, considering the spot I've actually been to this well, r roughly to this spot, not to the island, but extremely close to this spot. It was um, a field course they took in university. I don't know if I can get the, the, the words right. It's been such a long time. I think it was marine invertebrate early developmental biology or something like that. But anyways, it was um, <clears throat> a couple of weeks course. Uh, awesome. I met some amazing people, man. I had some... Actually, uh, the neat thing is, I can remember the mo uh, the lab was um, separate from where we were um, uh, um, staying, and uh, just a, a, s a small walk. Um, but we were we had twenty four seven access to the lab, so we could you know plan our time at like three in the morning if you wanted to do your lab work and so on and so forth. And oh my God, I was in heaven. I was like, what? I got a lab. To Anyways, there's one guy I befriended. Uh, well, a few people, but, um, man, we had, it was on, um, it shared also a golf course. It was really weird. But so, uh, like, you know, two, three in the morning, we'd walk and just have these amazing talks on the golf course and, um, ah, oh, just go out and, you know, to the tidal flats and the people around there were just beyond amazing. I can remember going there, uh, well, thinking, I remember all this stuff, like going to a field course, uh, a faraway location, that is so opposite of my character. Same as like, you know, running um, a game at Can Games. Some people are always like, what the hell? You run a can I'm like, but it's because I'm passionate about it and I want to, you know, so I overcome my whatevers. Um, I guess that's the way to look at it. But anyways, we'll get back to the, uh, yeah. So I was always worried that those people there were like, nice effing university kids show up every year or whatever, but they were unbelievably friendly I just okay the last night uh, I didn't drink no smoking I was like mr. clean like I was like focused it was nuts um, so I was a designated driver that night at the to the little town 
and uh, we were at the pub, and that night I ended up being a dark uh, uh, partner with one of the regulars, and it was awesome, and we were like just, we couldn't lose, it was awesome, so I had to keep giving my uh, my winnings to one of the uh, one of my friend, uh, colleagues there, and uh, man, he was hammered. Um, good, anyways, great place, beautiful place. Um, it's a possibility. Uh, uh, we'll see. Um, like I said, I'll be talking to the bank person tomorrow, and so on and so forth. And I understand there's going to be uh, wobbles in my mind. There already is. Like, Chris, what the hell are you doing? There's only another, th and it's nothing's happened, right? But listen to all these good little bits that it, it connects the dots. And I'm like, you know what? It's, I got a good vibe about this. Even if the battery's about to go kaput. Let's see. Yeah, well, I'll just shut up. So anyways, so this house, even if I stayed here and da-da, you paid off the mortgage, three years left. This house is in such bad shape, it needs to be gutted. Which means I would be right back on square one. I would have to get, what, a reverse mortgage or... And I'm not going to get a great pension. I haven't uh, worked there long enough and blah, 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 and whatever. Um, money's never been... A, I'm, not, I'm not into that crap. Um, not saying it's crap if you love it. I'm like, whatever, man. I'm just saying for me, it's whatever. Um, <clears throat> anyways, my nephews and uh, his partner, fiance... Um, They've been looking for a place, and I'm, I don't know about your world, but in, in this place, um, property values are still crazy. Well, we're a government city, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, he's in a much better position. He makes way more money than I do. And um, he's young. <coughs> it just needs a foothold. We all win. So I, he's like, Chris, uh, Uncle Chris, you know, maybe I can, you know, whatever. I'm like, yeah, Zach. That's the way we're looking at. That's everybody's going to win here. We're, uh, you know, I'm sure like everybody else's family screwed up. Um, let's find our own way to help each other. It's been this weird. Uh, this past few months, I can feel this nice. There's a change in in the vibe in our family. I don't know. It's like we're finding our own way to help each other. And I'm thinking, how can this not help everybody out? I get to be free. He gets uh, to find a place with his partner <coughs> to fix up, and obviously I'm not going to sell it for, like, we're, we're here to help each other out, man. As long as I don't end up having to panhandle on an island, look, you know, for seals giving me money or fish or whatever, I'm okay, and, he, you know, and vice versa. I don't screw him over because it's like a lot of money. Um, in other words... The intentions, everybody's intentions are there. You should see how, uh, how he's like, oh, Uncle Chris, I'll pay for this. I'll pay for the, you know, uh, the inspect. I'm like, just calm down, man. We're all in this together. That's the way to look at it. Um, it's just so weird, as you know, uh, oftentimes money, people with money, it's just like, what the hell? Um, but, uh, so that's about it. I guess I just, uh, what I'm trying to say is send me your good uh, vibes in, in some ways or whatever. Um, so I want to be free. I want to, I want to, uh, it's weird because I, I can hear some people saying, um, like I know the people I will say it, but Chris, what are you going to do with yourself all day? But I'm like, huh? Huh? Do you know how many effing books I want to read before I drop dead? There is no way in hell I'm ever going to re be able to read them all. Not even close. So we'll just start with that. Uh, Plus, I'm going to have to spend days like chopping wood and uh, uh, riding my pedal bike to produce electricity to, um, you know, pop. My mind has been waiting for this. Oh. That's all I got to say. So many things are, you know, it's like, anyways. Um, Stefan is a woodworking genius. The guy could build a cabin with, you know, a freaking toothpick and a goddamn uh, tweezers and scissors. I, it's just like, I'm just saying, all the people and pl uh, pieces are in place. Um, and I'm not going to just, next week, by the way, I'm stuck on a, with a tent somewhere going, what the hell's going on? Um, yeah, I'm lucid, is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's it. I think so. I just, uh... I want to be spending my days doing this. I just, yeah, I, that's how I, I basically, I'm, uh, you know, I've been trying to do most of my time is been spending, getting rid of all the other fluff. 
or getting rid of all the stuff that, you know, irritates me, bothers me. I have even told Zoe, like, find every little tiny thing in your life that, like, uh, even like the shoes there or what, just all these tiny little, if uh, lots of clutter bothers you about dusting, get rid of it. Just all these little, and all of a sudden it's like boink. It's because, you know, I, I want to be optimum. I don't want to be middle. I, I want to know where I can think. You know, uh, I want to see, man. This is it. There's, I mean, I'm sure you guys know that too. I mean, the day after you die, um, you're not going to wake up. <laughs> there's no second chance. There's no... Oh, can I try it again? Or, you know, um, it's over. That's it. All, all the, you know, all the worries, all those other things, it's gone. And uh, I've, you know, I think I've said this to uh, Zoe before, or someone else. Um, you know, if someone gave me a choice of, um, you know, if they said Chris, or maybe I've mentioned it in the video, I don't know. But, um, you know, Chris... I'm sorry, but you had to choose between you have to choose between um, you know being torn apart by wild animals. Uh, that's how you're going to die, or your last minute of life is going to be filled with regret. Um, uh, I will take torn apart by wild animals ten times out of ten, man, for two reasons: one, because I don't want to live, with, uh, I don't want to die with regret, and while I'm probably getting torn apart by wild animals, I'm not going to be thinking about regret. Just gonna say. Anyways, uh, yeah, hopefully that's not a way to end uh, the whatever, but uh, oh, you guys have been a lovely uh, whatever. I'm just so flippin' unbelievably happy, man. Okay, uh, happy, you know, let's, let's get on with it.